Hi everyone, my name is Mitch Leitner and I am an application scientist with Nanoscience Instruments. Today, I will be demonstrating the standard process for mounting samples on aluminum stubs for analysis in the Phenom SEF. This is the first in a series of videos detailing sample preparation, which is the most crucial part of any SEM analysis. Improper sample preparation can impact the quality of imaging for our users, so be sure to employ the practices outlined in this series to ensure superb analysis in the Phenom SEM. Before we begin, we're first going to put on nitrile gloves and gather our materials. Wearing gloves prevents the oil and sweat from our hands from contaminating the sample. SEM samples are traditionally mounted on flat aluminum stubs using adhesive carbon tape stickers. These aluminum stubs can come in many sizes and variations, but the half-inch diameter stub is most often used. Carbon tape is used to adhere the sample to the surface of the stub, but other bonding agents exist, such as colloidal graphite or colloidal silver. Adhesive carbon tape normally comes in these sheets of stickers of specified diameters. We'll also grab a roll of copper tape for our larger, more difficult samples, a pair of tweezers to help us in applying the carbon tape to the stub, and finally, a canister of air to help us blow off the sample once we have finished preparing it. To apply the carbon tape, peel one of the stickers off of the back of the laminated sheet. Be sure to really get your finger underneath the sticker as it can be difficult to remove with nitrile gloves. Once removed, we place the black side down on top of the aluminum stub, and then using our tweezers, we take off the white backing label, like so. And now we can grab our sample and simply place it on top of the stub. Easy. For larger samples that might not be adequately adhering to the surface of the stub, we can use copper tape to help tie it down. So I'll grab my piece of copper tape and then simply wrap it over the sample, making sure not to cover the feature of interest to make sure it is securely fast. Other stub variations can provide the ability for more specific analyses. One of the most popular varieties of sample stubs is the 4590 degree stub, which allows operators to image cross sections or the end of long cylindrical samples. To prepare a sample with this mount, we begin by applying our carbon tape over the top edge. And then once it's over the top, we drape it forward. And then use our tweezers to remove the white backing label, like so. Now we can mount our sample accordingly, like this. If your samples are flimsy, like thin films or fabrics, you want to make sure that the top of your sample is not freely hanging over the top edge, as inside of the instrument it will freely flow in the breeze, so to speak. If your sample is not properly holding onto the surface, like this larger sample here, we can use copper tape to tie it down just like we did before. Another popular stub type is the variable tilt mount. This combines easy specimen mounting with the ability to tilt samples anywhere from 0 to 90 degrees. After applying the carbon tape and mounting our sample, we can use an Allen wrench to adjust the angle of the mount. On the back side are markings for 30, 45, 70, and 90 degrees, allowing for consistent sample orientations. The last step before loading the sample into the holder is to blow off the sample using the can of compressed air. Don't be afraid to blast the sample. We want to make sure that the sample is secure. It is always a good idea to do this at the end of sample prep. Now our sample is ready to be loaded into the instrument. I hope this video helped you gain insight into the standard sample preparation method for Phenom SEMs. Stay tuned for more videos in the Phenom SEM sample preparation series and if you have any questions about phenoms, please contact us. See you in the next video.